Uh, friends, we have this uh, Dell power supply. Uh, this is for the laptop, you can see, for the Dell. And uh, this has some problem. Uh, it's not uh, switching on the laptop or not charging the battery for the laptop. Uh, we are going to ad address or troubleshoot this problem. Uh, here is the jack you can see and this is also not insulated. I mean to say the insulation had been broken by the user and he had complained that it's not charging it's not working uh, so let us see we are going to power it up and i will show you the voltage over here then we will proceed later so just i powered it up and now we are going to check it here you will see see how to uh, check this item uh, so take your multimeter uh, select the voltage range dc voltage range of course it is automatic so i'm going to put it on dc voltage so here the dc is coming and the voltage is selected now i'm going to check this item for dc voltage here again yes so this one is first we will check over here and now we are going to put this positive on the outer side and the inner pin we are going to check it so it should show some 18 volt something like that which you can see it is not showing so it should show some 18 volt but you can see it is not showing 18 volt what's the problem with this one we are going to address and here first we have to remove this power supply from the power and then we will have to open it I already opened it so that's why it's easy to open this cover now remove this power supply from the unit uh, from the covers I mean and then here you can see this is the insulation and whatever this uh, aluminium shielding we have to remove it from and then I have to show you what is bad with this one is uh, inside we will check how we are testing inside uh, here this cable can be broken so this cable we are going to verify that the cable is good or bad so we will check voltage over here on these points these are the points you can see first is the ground then this one green and then this vo this is the output voltage this white one is the output voltage green is some uh, some sort of um, whatever this code which is generated by this chip and then this black is negative so we are going to check 18 volt or 19 volt 19.5 volt over here on this white and black these wires we will check the voltage so we are going to power this up and then let us see power is coming or not I powered it up now I'm going to show you the voltage but here is a must you must not short circuit anything and now you have to put your hand in because now it's powered up so care is required now I'm going to check the voltage on these two so here I will put my positive probe on the white and on the black I will put my uh, negative probe so you can see 19.6 volt is coming so it means that this cable is defective and we are going to check for the cable remove it from the power and then of course here also we will have to disconnect and then let us see cable carefully over here it's broken you can see you can see the breakage but this is this is not the breakage this is also a breakage you can see over here this one but the main breakage I can see I can feel it not I can see but I can feel it in the black wire here this breakage is so what we can do is we have to repair this by removing uh, these connections we will remove these connections using my soldering iron I have to remove these connections and then I will put a new uh, wire ends over here I will cut some wire I will show you how I am doing this so then you will understand what is to be done care is a must don't put your soldering iron here and there 
on the circuit board because components are there surface mount components are there if you will do that you can ruin those and that will be a problem for you then but also you have to take care that while you will be will put the wiring back we will put the wires in the same position where they were just cleaning these holes for the new connections I would keep the power supply side and now we are working on this cable so let us see what is bad with this cable I was about to show you this black wire as you can see I cut it by hand and it came off so the black wire inside there was no copper copper was cut already and it was not giving any continuity so this was a problem so what we can do is we have to take the blade or cable knife and cut this grommet part rubber part remove it and then we will put this grommet a little after so then we will bring new wires or we have to splice it a little bit I mean scrap the insulation a little bit and then bring new wires new wire endings by this way and cut it down this insulation put this black wire in white wire and green wire all together just pass this grommet part now I have brought out enough wires so that I will make new endings here you can see if you I remove or uh, scrap the insulation from this black wire you can see this had been cut over here and I now the cut is visible uh, now this new wire ending I will solder over there on the board So some way like this I have to make this perfect and then here also I will do the same thing you can see here also this wire was cut this had been cut inside so after a little while it would also cut so what we can do is we have to cut it over here and then we'll make new ending as we did for the other one For this green also we'll do the same thing green is very thin wire because this is code for this power supply these uh, Dell are using codes also in the power supplies take your solder and solder it because this way the strains will not go here and there otherwise it will be difficulty for you to make it in perfect order all we have to solder first we have to twist them little so then they will be combined I mean to say all the strings will be combined and then uh, here I will solder them this way all the wires will be soldered A little more betterment I can do by putting this slew on this piece of slew I have to cut a small piece this glass slew a regular glass slew using in uh, windings motor winding so I will have to put it on so then it will prevent the short circuiting uh, from here and there because this insulation is not very good so now you can see I have to put this wire in here the ground I will put it first so then the wires will not go here and there I mean to say that the sequence will not be a problem for me later so using colophony I have to flux it this way and I have solder it later on the remaining I will cut I will trim from here and then the green wire I have to put it in
then this positive wire white or green red wire or with a red slew this white wire I have to put it in and solder it over here but take care don't short circuit it to the adjacent track if you do it will be a problem keep it for a little while to make it cool down then scrap this residue of the flux from this one so then it will not create any short circuit to adjacent you can wash it with the alcohol also some people are doing this but scrapping is also not a bad idea to scrap it perfectly and now what I can do is I will have to test this thing and then later on I will trim the residue and will pack this thing in its casing so here I have to put it in same way as I did before put it side just check your work double check your work now it is in power so I have to test for the voltage let's see on the meter I am testing on this connector so 19 volt should come as you can see 19.6 volt I am getting so now it's perfect it's, it will be working it's good so this was our repair on this particular power supply adapter for the laptop Dell laptop so if you like this video give a big thumbs up subscribe my channel press on the bell icon press on the all so then you will get my notification on each on each upload thank you for watching